Hi and welcome to my maths class. Today we are going to discuss sequence and series in grade 12. Now before we start with the section it is advisable that you are okay with the grade 11 number patterns. Even though the work is very different both are examinable in the metric exam. Right, what we're doing today is arithmetic. Now if you look at the pattern it looks like a pattern that you would have done in grade 10. If you look at the first difference, you will notice that it is 3. Even though this is a number pattern you do in grade 10, what happens in grade 12 is that the methods and the system becomes very uniform. There are specific questions that would ask and there are certain ways to obtain these answers. Now, when you are given a number pattern in grade 12, the first thing you have to do is a test. At this stage, you would only learn one test, but as we go through the videos, you will notice that you will learn a second test. Then the questions no longer clarify if it is arithmetic or geometric. So you have to make sure that you understand the test. Now for arithmetic, which is what we are emphasizing on today, arithmetic, the first giveaway is that the first difference is always the same. Now how we test it is we say term 2 minus term 1 is equal to term 3 minus term 2. In this case I would say 10 minus 7 is equal to 3. And then I've got 13 minus 10 is equal to 3. Because left hand side is equal to right hand side, this tells us that it is an arithmetic number pattern. The second thing that we are going to concentrate on is getting the formula. Now even though you had learned a formula in grade 10, what happens with the formula in grade 12? it is that it is a standard formula number one it would come on the formula sheet that is given and it is much easier to use this formula when doing more challenging examples that you would see we would approach later now the formula is tn is equal to a plus n minus 1 d a always refers to the first term and D refers to the difference. N and TN are concepts that you should have learned in grade 11 and grade 10 where TN refers to the total where N refers to the number it is standing in the number pattern. Now when you are starting with arithmetic to get the formula the best thing you can do for yourself is to start getting into the habit of writing T, N, N, A and D. Now these four things, when you start, whether it's arithmetic, geomet geometric, whether it's sequence, series, when we're starting with the sequence and series section, any question you do, you start by writing these four things down. Then you fill in what you have. You would see by doing this later when we're doing simultaneous equations, this method becomes easier because it's easier to read and it's easier to understand. So number one, we start by writing T, N, N, A, and D. When they are asking you for the formula, all you need is A and D. So let's take this example that we have here. A is 7 the first number in the pattern. D is 3, the difference that we have. Now we're going to use the formula that we've learned and we are going to substitute what we have. Now be careful when you're doing this because what happens is since this is a formula that is on the formula sheet, we find that a lot of children write this formula down incorrectly. They always 
copy it or write it incorrectly. Make sure you know it and you are not careless. Now what was A? 7 plus N minus 1 and D was 3. Now notice the relationship between N minus 1 and 3 is multiplication. So we are going to get rid of all brackets which will give us 7 plus 3N minus 3. That is the distributive law where I am saying 3 times n and I am saying 3 times minus 1. This is from your grade 10 work. So if you are not familiar with solving for x, simplifying, factorizing, please go back to our previous videos. You cannot be strong in grade 12 if you are not strong with your grade 10 and 11 work. Now we make it neat, writing unknowns before knowns. So it's 3n plus 1. That is how you would get the formula. Thank you for watching.